You've really done a, a terrific job turning around this program. The kids got a taste of the playoffs last season. How do you how do you feel about where you guys are right now? I'm excited about where we are. Our numbers have been up this summer. Our our, our kids. We talk about living in the moments. Um, we really want to go from like it to to live it to love it. And we're we get a number of guys that are transferring over to where they're loving it. They understand the passion it takes to to achieve at a high level. And you know what we found out is those guys. Um, are providing that experience to bring these younger guys along where it's just, you know, hey, more accountability across the board. So I'm very thrilled where we are. I think we're heading in a good direction, really do. You have a number of skilled athletes in a lot of positions, and now you got, you know, one of the most important positions on the football field filled with your quarterback in, in Brady. And you just talk about the, the evolution of how that all came about, leaving Providence, coming over here to Forest Hills. Well, sometimes you just get lucky. Um, you know, obviously they, they decided to move over here and buy a piece of land, um, and that put them in within our school district. And they called me and told me they would be moving to our district. And you know, when you know, and once they move here, we're more than happy to have them. I think he gives us a great dynamic uh, and the experience that he had starting at Providence last year. And we still have Gabe, who is a dynamic quarterback within himself, who gives us flexibility what we can do offensively. Um, but I can't be more excited about having him here, being a part of our team. He fits naturally. We got great leadership between. Caden Smith and Aiden Smith and you know those guys have been around for a while, been in the system and you know uh, and they've helped the transition with him coming here where he fits in with our team and it's like he's been here the whole time. He's only going to make what what you have as really good receivers even that much better. Talk about that receiving core that you have here. Uh, we finally feel like we have depth. Um, you know, Christian Washington, all conference guy, Ross, he's dynamic being in, in the backfield outside. Um, Jarrell Boulder, who's really just you know, taken off between his recruitment and the things he's done. I think he's a different individual this year, so it's almost like you got a new player within him um, coming along as well. And then I think, you know, Jamarian Crowder, he was first year playing. We got him back this year, so, you know, Dakota's played, Amir's played a lot of snaps for us. So we got a lot of guys played a lot of snaps on the offensive end where we feel like we're not starting um, as far as behind as we had in the past for the first game. We feel like we're a little bit more seasoned. Hey, you've lost a bunch of seniors on the defensive side of the ball, but you, you do have a lot of guys that are young but bring a ton of experience coming into the season. So how do you feel that that experience is going to help them? I really think defensively is going to be our strong point. I love what Coach Toms and the staff has done defensively, how they've kind of integrated the parts in. We've got some experience between E from being all-conference, Aiden Smith at nose guard, um, Zach Barber, who we lost to injury, who'll be back. So those are some big bodies in the middle, and we feel like we got some great depth at linebacker with Caden Smith and the two-time all-conference players and the things that they can do with Jaquade and getting those guys back. So we do actually have a lot of experience defensively, and we love how they're gelling, um, you know, and really comes down to defensively. Can we execute? Can we fill the gap? Can we rally to the football and create turnovers? And I think that's what Coach Toms is really building this defensive unit as. And just getting the uh, jump start into your uh, regular season, you have a tough a few games and you go into your conference play. But how do you, how do you want to set the season right those first few games? Um, we want to get better. And it was our same objective since I've been here. From week one to week two, we want to show that we're marking improvement. Um, obviously, what you worry about as a head coach, any program is, is you know, staying healthy and then with the heat, staying hydrated so we don't lose guys to injuries or cramping and things like that. So just, we're excited to have depth, but we don't have to rely on our guys to play quite as much. Um, and we've got enough guys that can help alleviate some of the special teams where we feel like we're in the past. It's been a tragedy for us game one. We feel like we know what to expect, what that looks like, and our numbers are up where we feel like we'll be able to handle that a little bit better. Um, but obviously, Coach Braswell and Piedmont's going to be a, a tough test one for us in their environment.